Hello, welcome back to the Dream Printing Podcast. I am so excited today. We're talking all things academic planner. It is May. It is time to start thinking about our next academic year. And I have a very special guest. Her name is Sarah, and she is the founder of Sarah L. Cowart. And um, she is the maker of the Collegiate Academic planner. She's been coaching students on how to transition and be successful and have these executive life skills. She's going to explain it better than I am, but you are going to love this. I am so excited for you to hear her story and understand uh, why she made the planner she did, what her journey was in creating the planner. Um, So you're in for a real treat. Sarah also has some really special gifts for you guys. I dropped them in the show notes. She has some freebies and printables that she wants to offer you guys as a resource. So check out the show notes and let's go ahead and dive into today's episode. All right, I told you we have a very special episode today, and I was not lying. I'm so excited to bring Sarah onto the show. Sarah and I um, have the same alma mater. We both went to Auburn, War Eagle. So, War Eagle. (laughs) Thank you so much. I'm so excited to dive into your story. Sarah has created this incredible collegiate academic planner. She is a print school alumni. She's gone through the program. And the day that this episode is airing, your product will have already launched. We're yes. filming this a little early because we're getting all our ducks in a row, getting ready for your launch day. I am so pumped for this. And it's been really fun watching your journey. So I'm excited to let everyone else kind of get to hear your story. But introduce yourself to the, to the group. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Wally, so much for having me. Yes. So my name is Sarah Cowart, and I actually own Sarah L. Cowart, your academic coach, which is an academic coaching practice for college students. And we work one-on-one with college students, helping them navigate just the all the ups and downs academically that you think you go through with college. And probably you remember <laughs> being in college, especially being at a large institution with mm-hmm. thousands and thousands of people. Sometimes it's just really hard because, yeah. you know, intellectually you are smart enough to be there, but all the other things that happen around you, it's so hard to kind of like put it where it needs to be. And so we really help students specifically with executive functioning skills. So just kind of think of like time management, organization, prioritization, yeah. Yeah. which is really, you mentioned our collegiate academic planner that our program that we have is really what inspired us to produce this planner because we kept seeing kids needed an additional tool. Mm -hmm. And even the kids that don't work with us, they they don't need to work with us, but they still need a tool to be successful. Yeah. Planners, uh, obviously I'm a big fan of them. Planners are life, but I've always been just an incredibly forgetful person, like incredibly forgetful. And so planners have been my lifeline for me in school um, because, you know, I wouldn't say I was the smartest kid, but I could, I, I worked really hard, you know, and we believe in hard work, right? At Auburn. We believe in hard work. Yes. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited about your planner. So you had, how long did you have your um, kind of coaching program prior to the planner? Yeah. So I actually spent most of my professional career as an academic advisor, academic coach. So I actually, we're going to like rewind about 15 years ago, which is when I really got into working with college students. So my background is in education. I was actually an early childhood educator for a couple of years and just realized that, okay, maybe this isn't my lifelong thing and went back Mm -hmm. to grad school and kind of found my place in the world of athletics helping college athletes navigate the academic side of their journey in college. Mm. And kind of what transpired of this over and over is I would be meeting with parents as they were coming in for their recruiting visits with their student. And I would lay out, hey, here's what we're going to do for the first semester your kids here. We're meeting with them weekly. We're checking their grades. We're really helping them transition well so that they can be 100% wherever they are. They're not stressed about all the things. And every single time a parent would say, gosh, I wish my other kid who wasn't a student athlete had this service. 
Mm-hmm. And you know, just as well as I know, you hear something so many times, you kind of look around and kind of say, okay, who's going to take care of this problem? Mm-hmm. And when no one's taking care of the problem, you go, well, I guess that's me. Yeah. And so four and a half years ago, I actually said, all right, we're going to do this. And so I launched our academic coaching practice four and a half years ago. I sold my house, quit my job, moved from Pennsylvania back to Auburn um, because I knew this is where I wanted to land. And so we actually have a physical location here in Auburn, but we also have a physical location in State College, Pennsylvania, near the campus of Penn State. And then we also see kids virtually. So all of that, so it kind of takes, it's funny when people ask about, okay, where did this kind of come from? Well, it's kind of been about a 15 year journey, Mm -hmm. but probably within the last four and a half years, having a private practice, I went, okay, we can do something about this. And so that's when I kept thinking, how are we going to do this? And so it set in my brain for a very, very long time, bits and pieces of it we would use with our students. I would say, okay, here, here's your semester game plan. Here's your weekly academic plan. And we would give them these tools independently. And I thought, well, what if there's a way that we could give this to everybody? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a planner. And so I went on the search to find someone to help me do this, which is how I landed on print school. And I think it's just a God thing that I was like, oh, this is the perfect timing of the support I needed to make sure we could get this out to the world. Yeah. And you have been working really hard to get your timeline and get your product and get your samples. And the samples came in and they were stunning. For those of you watching on YouTube, Sarah, show off the planner. It really is just so beautiful. I love the sizing. It's a little bigger than my planners. So this is like what, an eight and a half by 11 almost? Yes. So it is an eight and a half by 11. So if you kind of think of like when you're putting your textbooks in your book bag, so it's, and two, thinking about all the space that our students needed, it wasn't really smart for us to do anything smaller than this, especially with our semester game plan. It fits on one big sheet yeah. on that. Beautiful. So show the inside a little bit. Yes. I love the, um, the marbly one. The purple one's beautiful too. Yes. Yeah. So in the um, the darker one is actually navy blue okay. um, because we want to think about all of our students, some, you know, some of our male students, and then also had an option for our female students. So part of the planner is it is very, very specific for college students. So in the first page of it, we have, when they open it up, it is their semester game plan. So it talks about what do you do that first day of the semester? We give them an example of what that looks like. So they're actually filling out anything and everything that's already on their syllabi because let's be honest, the syllabi is the Bible of your class. And so you have to really follow it. So we teach them how to do that. And then as they kind of go through the semester, other things happen and come up. And so we have like a midterm like what to do during midterm, what to do for the month ahead, all that kind of stuff. And then this is kind of what the month ahead looks like where they can kind of say, okay, what are the major test projects, stuff like that. Um, But then we also have, yeah. And and part of that clean piece is because we do work with a lot of students when we think executive functioning skills. And so we don't want a ton of stuff on one page and really want to keep our brains kind of focused on what we're doing. And so then their weeks look very, very different than a normal calendar because we're setting it up for like test and assignments, your priorities for the week, your readings and your homeworks. What does that look like? And so very different than mm-hmm. what you typically would probably buy at the store. And then we also know some of our kids are like, I really want to carry a piece of paper with me. I really want to like hang something in my dorm room. So we have a notepad that is the weekly academic plan where they could just rip it off, tote it with them, whatever they need to do. And then we also have a digital download they can print out of our semester game plan that is poster size. And so if you were like me, which I would always hang stuff up in my dorm room of my apartment, that's like, okay, here's all the things I need to do. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what that inspired. So they can take a quick glance and go, this is what it is. But there's, I mean, even the back of all the resources, it's my, one of my favorite parts is what, like how to email your professors and like what not to say. Mm -hmm. Um, and what not to do. And so we actually have like examples of what that should look like. Oh, wow. have questions. Here's what it is. Um, study techniques, how to calculate your GPA. So there's a place to put that in there as well. So it's very specific. 
Wow, that is so cool and so helpful. Yeah, I feel like you need to make a professional planner as well. Like when you start working at your job, you know, yeah, <laughs> how to yeah. navigate and that because I feel like going to college is like that first transition where you actually start owning your time. You know, 100%. so many yes. students don't realize how much time they have. They feel like oh, I don't have any time. Like school is taking up all my time. But when you look at it in a sheet like you have in that beginning section, it's like, I do have a lot of time. It just doesn't feel like it because it's not so structured. You're making the structure. Yes. And yes. I think it that's makes it. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just say, yeah, you're spot on because when you're coming from a high school, you have to think your high school kid is getting up in the morning. The, everything is like to the T, the minute, the bell ring, all this stuff. And when they get to college, they're like, oh my gosh, where did all my time go? Mm -hmm. what's happening because they want to do all these things and it's not structured mm -hmm. and so this really you're right it gives them a little bit of guidelines for them to follow i remember this is such a side note sorry i when my freshman year one of my first times at this christian student center the auburn christian student center my brother had like brought me there introduced me there he was like you know put me on the right track for college and uh the the man who was overseeing it did a lesson and he had a whole powerpoint and he showed what a week looks like when you're like a grown adult with kids. Like, this is what your schedule looks like. This is how, and the green was your free time. And he showed how much free time you're gonna have when you leave college and get a job and have kids, you know, hypothetically, right? And then he showed what your time looks like as a college student. And he showed how much green is on the screen. And I remember just being like, I'll never forget that. Like that's ingrained in my head so much, but it was seeing the visual of it is such a powerful thing. And that's another reason why I just love calendar and planners because you get to see it and you get to own it and you get to create it. And um, I love what you're doing. It's so awesome. So let's chat a little bit about um, the launch and AKA where can people go to buy this? Because by the time this airs, um, it'll be live and people can yeah. so where do they go to buy it and what's going on for launch day yeah so they can go to shop sarahlcowart.com and everything will be there whether you want to get a physical version a digital version we have a few bundles that we're going to have and we also will be carrying a sorority collection which is digital versions through most of all the sororities I will say in particular in the state of Alabama but kind of transcends throughout the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, we are fully licensed so that's always a question that we get so our sor sorority editions are fully licensed and they're a great gift for you know, we're thinking about our launch date is that first full week of May and what a perfect day for like getting a high school graduation gift. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's where you can go. Um, and then there are going to be some surprise codes that pop up where you can get some special discounts and all that fun stuff. And then also we are going to do just a few giveaways as well as people are looking and shopping that first week. I'm so excited. So you guys are going to have to check out Sarah's Instagram will tag it right here below to get all the updates of how launch week is going because unfortunately we can't talk about that because it hasn't happened yet but um because we're kind of living in the future right now yeah. so I'm just so pumped I can't wait to kind of watch launch week come alive my question I'd love to know what was your experience like in print school creating it designing it going through the steps compared to what you thought the process would be. Um, how was that journey for you? Yeah. So I will have to say, I actually came into print school already having my design done. Mm -hmm. And in my brain, I was like, oh, we were so far ahead of the game. I did everything right. And then once I got in and kind of went through the timeline and I put everything on paper, I kind of had this panic moment of, oh my gosh, we're not as far ahead as I thought we were. But I think that's where I loved about print school is you immediately were like, nope, you're exactly where you need to be. Here's kind of what's going to happen. Um, but it really settled my nerves. It settled me learning the process. I think I was, I was getting stuck at a couple of different places just because I've never done this. Like this mm -hmm. is very brand new. And I think it's, it's almost parallel to our students of when it was either a moment where I could sit and freeze and kind of go, okay, well then we're just not doing this at all, or we're not going to do this really well. Or it kind of went through when I asked for help by being in print school, 
I then went, okay, we can actually solve this problem. We can fix it. And so I think the support was probably the biggest piece about it. Um, also kind of having access, you shared, you know, your publishers, your vendors, and I was able to really reach out and find someone who I would have never been able to connect with previous before that. And the one I had connected with on my own, I actually didn't love the product. Mm -hmm. And so I think that just speaks volume when you have someone in your corner who's kind of walked that road before to really say, okay, why don't we do this? I mean, you helped answer a ton of questions. And I think even those community calls are just so, so important. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. So what's next for your brand? I know you're launching. It's the big thing. You've got your website live now. You've done your photos. What's next for you? Like, what are the big things? Because I know you've actually had some really incredible um, partnerships come up after you had your samples in your hand. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So I think this has just been a huge journey of all the things. Um, you know, we have had the opportunity to even sell locally through wholesale, which I never really thought that was a big option. So that's something um, we're able to be on campus doing some orientation weekends as a vendor. So I think there's a lot of things when I look past of like using the resources, using the people around you, which I think you did a really good job of saying to us, like, hey, what if you did this? What if you reached out to this person and thinking about the launch as a whole, but also thinking about, you know, I'm a service-based business. This is the first time we have a product where we can sell, but what it's leading to is more conversations about other services or other products that our families need. And in particular, like our parents want coaching. Mm -hmm. And so we're actually going to be doing something special in June for our parents for a little masterclass and then also some group coaching to kind of help with that transition um, because it's just as hard on them as it is a student. And we want to support them as a whole. Um, and that's really the best way because, you know, I always talk about our freshman students when they transition, but then even our sophomores through seniors, you know, they are still learning to be adults. They mm -hmm. look like adults. They sound like adults. Um, but in the bottom line is they still need support. And so really helping parents navigate that. And when do they push hard? When do they pull back? How do, in our coaching our students, how do you communicate with your parents? I think that's something they come to us all the time. They're like, my mom sent me this text. How do I respond? Because mm -hmm. they are learning as well. So I think there's a lot of things for our business and what we look is how do we continue to support families and even students who don't need one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is where the planner is coming in mm -hmm. because it's just, again, another tool that students can use to really be successful on campus. It is so cool. We need this. The next generation is going to be blessed. So excited for all the graduates class of 20. 24 is insane. It's crazy. Um, it is crazy. Well, I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for launch day. I cannot wait to have one of these in my hands. I know a lot of college, uh, not high school graduates this year that are going to be blessed with them. So make sure you go grab your copy, share this video with, you know, anyone in your life that you think would be interested. War Eagle. I'm so War Eagle. Cool. <laughs> yes. So cool. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me.